Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Mr. Secretary, on some of these questions, including the questions many of my colleagues have asked about the proposed settlement with those who have crossed through our borders unlawfully, you've indicated you're inclined to dodge the question. I don't expect that to change between now and the end of this hearing, but I, I, I do want to communicate to you some of the things that I've been hearing all over the place from people across the political spectrum uh, uh, throughout the state of Utah. A lot of them really don't like that. They don't appreciate it. You know, the, the average family of four in Utah has a total household income of $71,000. If you've got a family of four that crossed through our borders unlawfully and was subject to this settlement agreement, you'd be looking at $1.8 million in a settlement. You know, it would take two, two and a half decades for the average family of four in Utah to earn that. So the thought that the federal government is offering that as a reward, as an incentive for, for people who cross through our borders unlawfully is unthinkable to many Utahns, as well it should be. People of Utah and people of the United States certainly deserve better than that. The fact that this was even seriously considered is troubling to me. I don't know why we want to do that, and I, and I certainly don't believe that one can deny uh, the impact that this would have as a magnet for future illegal immigration. Now, about 60% of those here unlawfully or visa overstays, people who came here lawfully uh, and, and then fell out of their lawful status. Wish we had more time and I could ask you, you know, what you're doing to apprehend those people. Wish I could ask you further things like what, uh, what additional resources you might need because I, 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 it'd be good to know what we could do for you to be able to gain operational control of the border again, which the American people want and expect and need and deserve. Look, the Department of Homeland Security has clearly failed in its mission to maintain operational control of its borders. The department itself acknowledges how important it is. Over two million people have likely crossed over our southern border illegally this year with no end in sight. You've seen no concrete plan for stopping these border surges. Instead, your department's focused on climate change. These facts seem to indicate Mr. Secretary, that Americans cannot hope to keep fentanyl out of their communities, that terrorists and gang members can't be kept out of their neighborhoods and criminal aliens off their streets. As long as you're in charge of the Department of Homeland Security and running it the way that you've been running it, this cannot continue. For the safety of the American people, including people like the woman who was recently raped in open sight in a Philadelphia subway train just recently by someone who shouldn't have been here in the first place, who had a criminal alien background, I, I implore you, you got to fix this. Fix it or step down. Thank you.